Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Welcome back to the Omni Adventures YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about everything we got at Midsummer Scream. It was a fantastic event. Midsummer Scream Awaken the Spirits was exactly what we needed. Go ahead and check out that video if you haven't already. I personally feel super proud of it. We worked really hard on it. But what we're talking about today is what we actually spent all of our saved up money on because we saved for a while. But before we do that, please do us a huge favor. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And without further ado, let's get right into that video. So first thing we purchased at Midsummer Scream was this guy. This is a uh, sugar scrub. This one, I forgot what the title was because they, they kind of faded away, the stickers faded away, but they're from Bats and Body Works. And although it looks kind of dry, I guarantee you it functions amazing. This is by far the best sugar scrub I've ever used. And I fell in love with them in 2020 and I've been using so many different ones. I tried sugar scrubs, I tried uh, salt scrubs, and these are the best. Marlene also got one called Sydney. And this one is of course based off of the Scream films. And it looks like blood when you apply both of them. It's, a, it's the coolest thing. When you put them on, it looks like you're bleeding in the shower, which is creepy if you're not into that, but I am. <laughs> and the next thing we got is this frog's breath candle. So this candle actually smells like Halloween. They say, they say, and I can guarantee you, it does. Although it looks green, it really actually smells exactly what you'd think Halloween would smell like. It smells like fall, it smells like low-key pumpkin spice, not exactly like pumpkin spice. This isn't a pumpkin spice candle, not quite as strong, but it just smells amazing. We've been having it on for the past few days, literally every day since we got back, which is why you can see the wick is already used. Oh, but it was amazing. And the next thing we got is this really cool bag, this really cool bag, Midsummer Screen combined with Tino Evil. They actually put it out just for the Midsummer Scream attendees, and we actually got it for free. It was completely free. We both got one. They were only giving them out on Saturday, to my knowledge, but as soon as you got out of the panels, they would literally just hand it to you, and it was awesome. The next thing I got is this really cool Captain Spaulding Museum of Monsters and Madness sign. This is one of those LED signs. It's a little flimsy, but this was $25, and honestly, I've been looking for an LED light exactly like this. I mean, I've been looking on Amazon for the past month to see all these cool creations, and I was like, you know what? Let me go to Midsummer Scream and see if they have one that strikes my fancy. I literally saw this within the first like 15 minutes we were there, and I purchased it. It is the best $25 I've ever spent. Because look at this thing. It lights up. Whoa. Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Madmen. <sighs> so this thing actually comes with a remote. It's like one of those typical LED remotes that I'm sure if you've ever been on Amazon in order to light switch, you're familiar with this guy. But you can obviously have these little different settings. Flash. Strobe. Fade and smooth which are really cool. You can also adjust the brightness if you need. So this is just one of the coolest things I've ever purchased. The next things we got that we wanted to highlight are these. We got some stickers, we got some little postcards for events and stuff. And honestly, I love these guys. We actually collect them. So a lot of people, they're just like, oh, that's cool, I'll take one and throw it away. No, Marlon and I are actually like, we love to look at things like this. This is something we didn't know was happening and we actually only found out after the event looking at what we had gathered. <laughs> so we like to reflect on this. And we also have a memory box that we put all these stuff in. And stickers, we collect stickers. We put them on our car. Speaking of stickers, that actually gives us a nice segue to a new segment I'm gonna try to include on every single video. So in that Midsummer Scream video, we actually did a segment where we went and interacted with a bunch of fellow creators and community members in this super fun industry slash community. And that was something we absolutely fell in love with. So we're definitely gonna continue to do that. But more than that, we want to, from now on, in every single video we make, have at least one creator shout out. Now that doesn't mean we're only gonna shout out one creator at a time, but sometimes we will, sometimes we'll include more. But we really just wanna spread love to the community and show off some other people we think you guys should check out. And for the inaugural creator shout out, we have one of our dear best friends, both often on camera, Tanner from Theme Park Takeover. 
You guys definitely need to check him out. He's so close to a thousand on Instagram, so make sure you follow him and here on YouTube as well. And if you guys want to get a shout out, just go ahead and leave it in our comments or hit us up on social media at OADV underscore media and literally just be like, hey, can I be featured in one of you guys' videos? And most of the time, I'm just kidding, 100% of the time, we'll be like, yeah. Getting back to it, the next things we purchased, this guy. So Marlene is super into berets. And so when she saw this one, the eyeball one, she knew she had to have it. But more than just the berets, they actually had, ah, there we go, these super cool earrings based off of the Sprites, the Studio Ghibli Sprites. And she is literally obsessed with them. She actually wants to get a tattoo of them eventually. So when she saw them, she was like, okay, they're coming home with me. She actually ended up getting two pairs of earrings from that same booth, but she's wearing the other ones, which is... Yeah, just goes to show how much she absolutely loves him. <laughs> and coming down to the wire, we actually have an autographed picture from Robert Mukes, which we actually spoke to in the video. And this guy, you can see his little autograph right there, but he also signed it on the back, as well as put a, a little thing for me personally. Because believe it or not, when we were talking, I told him that I'm a filmmaker, that I'm you know going to school for all this stuff. And he was like, oh, you know what? Let's stay in contact eventually. I want to work for you. So, if, if you guys see an independent film that I created with Robert Mukes in it, you know what, I got started. <laughs> that really just meant the world to me, and it's, it's one of the coolest things. It's something I'm gonna post up for sure, very proudly. Speaking of things we're proud to post, we have this guy. This is by far the number one thing we got at Midsummer Scream. A Haunted Mansion poster, one of the original looking ones that we've been trying to get for literally months. But everyone who sells it sells a knockoff version or a really small version. And it is autographed by Bob freaking Gurr. Bob Gurr. Bob Gurr. Bob freaking Gurr. Yes, that Bob Gurr. He autographed this. And the best part is not only did he autograph it, when we were in line, Marlene was in her T-Rex costume and he requested personally to take a picture with her. He was absolutely in love with the costume and we had a full on conversation and he just, he really made our day. That was in my opinion, the highlight of our event. Actually, while I was filming this, I found something else I totally missed. It's this guy. It's a little, little bow that Marlene got, a little hair piece. And it is gorgeous. It has little spiders, little bats, little, little flowers. It's really cute. And she's been wearing this for days, which is why I couldn't find it. <laughs> well, Midsummer Scream literally graced us with so much beautiful merchandise. And we can't wait till Season Screaming's a bigger, hopefully better event. Christmas themed, which is going to be wicked. And hopefully you guys are there with us. Speaking of, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, and please do us a huge favor. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. Follow us on social media at OADV underscore media. We'll see you next time here on the Omni Adventures YouTube channel. My name is Vinny, and I am...